like, no, you cannot. You cannot like try to kidnap me. That is not how it works. Like, I'm not stupid. I can see you. Welcome back to my channel everyone. So I have not filmed a video in about a month. Um, wow. Um, I don't really know where to start. I'm kind of just gonna address a couple things. Um, I've been away, I've been working a lot more than I wanted to be, honestly. I went home for a week and I didn't take any of my filming stuff. Um, so it was really hard to film anything and I didn't want to do another vlog because like I had a week at home this time and I really just wanted to spend quality time with my family and stuff. Um, so yeah, that was nice. I went home for a week. But anyway, I will get straight into the video because this one was actually requested in a poll that I did on Twitter. 87% um, of you voted to hear my story time about my holiday stalker. So, before I get any comments, yes, I have faked hand and my wrists are looking dirty. Um, get over it. I know. Like, you do not need to tell me. I know. I'm waiting to shower. I don't know exact dates and stuff because it was a very long time ago, but I know I was about eight or nine years old. So every year, me and my family used to go to Butlins. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of it at least, whether they've been or not, I don't know. But I just know that I used to go every single year with my family. Um, this is before kind of, you know, any of us were brave enough to go on a plane and go abroad. We all just literally went to Butlins and that was the place, the Skyline, the Skyline gang, <sighs> even reminiscing is making me miss my childhood. <sighs> but yeah, so um, I must have been about eight years old and it started out like I didn't really notice it at first because obviously when you're on a holiday and you're young you're kind of distracted by everything, um, but just as a little back story like growing up I was very aware of everybody around me I kind of I don't know I just I always had like a fear of being kidnapped as a child I really have no idea why I just I was a weird child but yeah I just really had a fear of being kidnapped so I always kind of saw every man as really scary and potentially someone who wanted to kidnap me and, and that's not in a way that I thought I was you know really pretty or anything like I was like eight or nine years old I just basically thought every guy was out to get me and that's not through necessary anything I've been told by my parents like obviously they told me to be aware it's just I really had a fear of being kidnapped as a child it's contradicting now because I I literally love watching like crime documentaries and horror documentaries and stuff and just or weird stuff like that but I literally love watching them but when I was younger it was just like such a fear of mine and it was horrible anyway getting back into the story so it must have been about two or three days into the holiday um, we usually stayed about a week but at this point I kind of noticed this guy who kind of I don't know how to explain it I mean he lit he was obviously staying in one of the chalets but I'm pretty sure he like lived there because um, he was just like on his own and stuff like he didn't have a family or anything and I just I get I got the impression he like lived there um, yeah so I had noticed this guy a few times when we were going for breakfast in the morning so there's a restaurant called Ocean View and it was literally like a five minute walk from our chalet or like our apartment and we pretty much when that every morning we had like the same routine, we'd get up there, get up and go at a certain time. Um, we didn't really tend to have like lines because once the adults were kind of awake, all of us were awake as well. Like all, we all kind of went the same time every day. We didn't really have like the same routine, but after the first few days, we kind of just got into some form of a routine because you know, we'd go to the beach if it was sunny, um, like most of the residents there and stuff, like if it was sunny, we'd all go. We would all go into the skyline every day. Um, and it was kind of an environment where you're able to just walk by yourself. Like, 
we were staying like so close to the skyline like if for those of you who don't know what butlins is skyline was like this huge center where you'd go for like arcades and food and that was where all the entertainment was um, for all of the kids and stuff, you could have like photos with like um, characters. So for example, there'd be like Spider-Man one day and then the Skyline gang who were like the dancers and the red coats and you could have photos and stuff with them. Um, so yeah, so that was where we all went, but it was so comfortable and me and my brothers used to walk there before my parents and stuff in the morning all the time. Like we'd always go ahead because it was literally like not even a 10 minute walk and we were so close from our apartment like we could see it that's how close we were so it wasn't a case of you know we didn't feel scared or intimidated by going by ourselves it was just something we had done years before and there were so many people about so it's not like we were worried and that it was just us it wasn't dark ever you know if we went out at night we were always together so moving forward it must have been about four or five days into the holiday and I had noticed a guy, which I had seen on a few occasions. I had seen him a couple of times go into the restaurant and I had seen him just about the resort. So I had noticed him a few times around the resort um, on our way to the skyline and when we had gone to get breakfast and stuff, like I said, after a few days of the holiday, the first few days, we kind of had a routine, so to speak. So we kind of, if someone wanted to follow us, they could have easily and they could have known exactly where we were going to be at what time so me and my parents and my younger brothers had all already had breakfast and stuff all of my siblings had and we'd all gone back to our individual chalets and we were all planning on going to the skyline i'm pretty sure this was like the fifth or sixth day it was coming to like the end of our holiday but not quite the end but i just know it was like a few days before we were leaving because our suitcases were kind of starting to get packed um, but we had had breakfast, we had gone back to the chalet, all of my brothers and sisters, and then because we were going to the skyline, because obviously we were leaving soon, me and my two younger brothers decided to go. So my mum and dad let us go on our own, because obviously we'd, we'd done it like the whole holiday we were there, so it wasn't an issue at all. But as we were walking, I came around the corner, and at this point I had gone past the restaurant, um, so I could see the skyline from where we were, it was literally like probably f the best part of five minutes away um, and that was just at a normal pace so if I you know kind of walked quite fast probably wouldn't have even taken five minutes um, but as we were walking up you have like a row of chalets at the side so you've got a really long pathway and then you've got chalets on each side um, which basically frame the pathway to get to the skyline and as I was going forward I was with my brothers they were in front of me Bear in mind, I was about eight or nine, my brother was about eight, and my youngest brother, so he was about, probably about four, but like, my parents were watching us from the chalet go. Um, so it wasn't like we were just let loose and stuff, like my mum would never leave us to attend like a four year old, like they were coming behind us, but we had just gone ahead, because obviously we were excited, we were young. Um, and basically, I saw this guy, and I see him in the distance, and it's weird because we almost kind of locked eye contact at the same time. Now, bear in mind I was eight years old, but I was quite intelligent and like I said, I was very aware as a child. So I saw him and we locked eyes and I just, I got this awful feeling and I can't explain it. It's really hard to explain. So I stopped and we just kind of stared and my brothers were kind of carrying on. Um, so I kind of carried on with them and then I saw him come out. He was hiding behind a chalet. Okay, I kid you not, he was like hiding and like, you know how someone's like peeping through? That's what he was doing. And that instantly like set red flags for me because what are you going to be doing like hiding behind a chalet? Like it's just not, you just don't do it. Like it's weird when you, when you're in an environment where there's lots of children, it's just an uncomfortable feeling and to have someone like that staring at you is just the most gut-wrenching feeling I can even like contemplate now. I still remember how I felt. Like it was so horrible. I swear to God, I thought I was about to get kidnapped. Like it's weird because I locked eyes with him. Like he saw me see him. He could see that I had noticed he was like watching us. I can see you you can see me seeing you right now. Like, I'm not stupid. I may be eight years old, but I'm not stupid. And it just, 
it didn't register with him, like it, he was not bothered. So I carry on walking and I see him kind of come out of the chalet and he's kind of started pacing towards me. So I stopped again and then he stopped. So that's when I knew he was like coming towards me. And I kid you not, as soon as I stopped and he stopped at the same time, I turned straight back around and I ran straight back to my chalet. Like, no, you cannot. You cannot like try to kidnap me. That is not how it works. Like, I'm not stupid. I can see you. I was so scared. And it's so bad because I left my brothers, but I like they were going ahead and I did turn back when I was running and I saw that they were still going ahead, but he had just disappeared completely. Like my brothers do not even care. They just walked on like nothing's happening. Like I tried to make them acknowledge the fact there was a guy trying to take me and they just walk on like nothing is happening. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so at this point I was panicking, he had run round and he was coming round to find me because obviously I didn't know whether he had clocked where we were exactly staying because he had been obviously watching us for a few days because I recognised him and I wouldn't have recognised him if I hadn't seen him about where we were staying. So I knew he had kind of been watching us for the last few days. So I, I literally used all the strength in my legs. <laughs> I was so tiny but I literally was so fast because the adrenaline and the fear that you get, I just absolutely ran with all my life and all the energy I had in my body back to my parents and I got there and I was screaming, I was like, oh my god, there's a guy, he's following me, he's following me, I've seen him, I recognise him, he's been watching us and my dad just didn't even register, like, I think because I was just paranoid about every single person, they just thought I was, you know, being paranoid and it's not to say it's their fault at all, um, but my dad was less kind of concerned because he couldn't see this guy um and my mum was worried immediately like she kind of could see that I was obviously upset about it even though she also knew that I was kind of paranoid about situations like that um and then almost immediately after I was kind of upset and crying to my mum and dad like I was panicking for my brothers because I was thinking god what if he's like grab them or attack them because I ran off like as almost he's done that out of spite because he wanted to get me and I've run away. Then I went with my parents like the whole way to the skyline. Like I made sure I was watching every single person and I did not see him at all. And I was panicking so much. We got to the skyline and what made it worse is I could not find my brothers at all, which was like the worst like situation because I was thinking, oh my God, he's got them. And then luckily they were just like in an arcade, um, but they hadn't told us. So it was just so petrifying. So we got there and we found them. And again, like I didn't see the guy again. And I'm pretty sure we left like the day after or like two days after, like I said, like our suitcases were packed and stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know it doesn't sound very interesting, but when you are experiencing it, especially when you're a young child, you're very vulnerable. It's a hard situation to get out of. Um, I'm just glad that I grew up being aware, as, as aware as I was, because I wouldn't have been able to kind of diffuse that situation. Like if I carried on, who knows what could have happened. So that is the video, guys. I know it wasn't the most interesting story time ever, uh, I tried to keep it as real as possible for you because I definitely know not everything that happens in the story times are true just because obviously people want to get more views and it's clickbait so but yeah that was my story time about my holiday stalker and I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos like this let me know down below and I will get onto that for you. Again, I just want to apologise because I haven't filmed in three weeks, but I'm going to be making sure I upload a lot more now because obviously I'm going home for Christmas, so I'll have a lot more free time. But yeah, so that was the video, guys. If you liked it, obviously subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I feel like my channel is actually really starting to grow already. Again, I've got over five and a half thousand views on one of my videos already, which is amazing because I only uploaded it a month ago. So yeah, I will leave all of my social media on the screen now and I will also link it down below just in case you want to check out what I get up to in my daily life. 
Again, I will be filming a few extra videos this week to make up for the fact that I haven't filmed in a while. Of course, if you want to know what's been going on in my life and why I haven't kind of been filming, then I will hopefully film a Q&A for you if that's what you want to see. Obviously, just let me know down below. I want to really film a look on what the makeup I'm wearing because this is currently one of the makeup looks that I wore to a Christmas party that I went to and a lot of people complimented me and asked me how I kind of got it. Um, so I feel like that'd be a really good video to film. Uh, I managed to get my furniture from home back over here so now I have kind of, well I'm working on it but I have a new setup so I've obviously got my mirror in the background which again I've put pictures on my Instagram and Snapchat of that one and I have like my matching kind of furniture so I really love like antique furniture so all of it kind of ties in together. So please keep supporting and sharing my videos because it really does like mean a lot. It it means that the effort I'm putting into editing the videos and taking the time out of my day to film really does mean a lot. And obviously if you guys are enjoying it, that's awesome as well. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one.